For the heavy lifting involved in exploring the universe, NASA has the right stuff. It's the triathlete robot, and we've got its moving story next on Real World. NASA recently spent the better part of a month in the desolate plains of northern Arizona, testing systems that will one day be used to explore other places in the universe. The event is known as Desert Rats. That's research and technology studies. And one of the stars of this show is a heavy lifting super robot with a very sporty name. Well, behind me here is the triathlete. It's the, very, it's the new generation of the athlete vehicle. Julie Townsend is an engineer working with robotics at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California. Athlete is the all-terrain, hex-limbed, extraterrestrial explorer. And this one is called the triathlete because it has a new feature. It can actually split into two three-legged robots. The reason that we split it into two three-legged robots is because that's very convenient for moving cargo around. So the triathlete works like a forklift on steroids picking up cargo on a pallet. Each of those three-legged robots comes up and docks to the side of that pallet and can carry it around. Uh, it's very easy for them to then set it down and drive away. This makes it very easy to offload cargo from a lander and organize it at the landing site. And it's versatile too, doing lots more than just heavy lifting. Triathlete can be fitted with special tools to accomplish all sorts of tasks. The reason we call the athlete hex-limbed rather than hex-legged is because each leg can also be used as a robotic arm. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to drive up to that cliff face behind us and we're going to pick up one of the arms and we're going to put a gripper on the end of it. And we're actually going to pull rocks off the cliff face with the gripper as if we were doing a geological survey of the cliff. Geologists can learn a lot about a planet by examining cliff faces. They show the layers of the rock in the order that they were laid down in history. So they can get a lot of the history of a planet or a moon from seeing the rocks and cliff faces like that. But normal rovers can't reach the top of the cliff faces. So that's a unique capability that Athlete has, is that it has a really long reach. And so it can sample all the different layers of that cliff almost all the way up to the top. Another tool that got put to the test in Arizona is a special attachment that turns triathlete into a soil moving machine. We put this scoop on and it can reach out and dig a trench in the surface and dump that material elsewhere just like you would do with a backhoe. It's one of the things that makes athlete such a utility vehicle. When we last checked in on this project, we talked about the mathematical concept of scaling. The precursor to this robot, known as Athlete, is a one-third scale model. This version is half scale. The one that will be used to explore other places in the universe will stand eight meters tall. This would be twice as big in every dimension, but this one really gives you the sense of exactly how huge that would be. So you can see the progression from the first Athlete, built in 2005, to this new Triathlete, which is larger and can split into separate robots. Other additions to this latest version include stronger joints and a new power system. The triathlete was developed at NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California, where they know a thing or two about operating robots and rovers. We have a lot of experience with remotely operating robots on the surface of other planets. We operate the Mars Exploration Rover Spirit and Opportunity. We're developing new rovers to go to Mars right now. So we operate athletes very similarly to how we operate the Mars Exploration Rovers. Generally when I'm operating the robot, I sit behind a workstation where I list out all of the different things I want the robot to do and then send those to the robot to be performed. Julie organizes the day's commands on a block schedule, similar to the one you might use to see your class schedule or to look up TV programs for the day. In Arizona, at Desert Rats, Triathlete performed many of the tasks it will do on other planets one day. It moved cargo, did geological surveys, and even performed a docking with the Lunar Electric Rover. You can learn more about Desert Rats, robotics, and all of NASA at www.nasa.gov. <laughs>